So I just wanted to take a look at this quick clip that we filmed for an upcoming YouTube video on lighting with colour using the light panels, Gemini's and Astra unit. But I wanted to go over like a kind of more detailed look at this setup than I probably will do in the video. So as you can see, this is the final setup and this is a free light setup using free LED panels. So if we have a look, this is no lights one light two lights and three lights so with one light this is obviously our sun our sun is outside it's coming in it's kind of top light in our subject it's also sort of backlight in him and we're getting some kind of reflection from the back of these curtains which is also giving a little bit of a key to the face but we want to kind of extend that so adding in our second light we have more light kind of coming through the curtains kind of coming into the room a little bit more and we have this more of a key we've extended our key on the face and this is kind of representing sunlight bouncing off the floor for example and bouncing back into the face so we've completed our key here with the sort of backlight and this bounce and it's a realistic way that the light on this sort of day would react it kind of just looks like you know morning sun it even perhaps looks like the the floor is a little bit wet and that reflection has sort of a bit of a specular feel to it and when we add in our final light We've simply kind of completed the look by adding in something a bit more realistically morning looking. So we've got a bit more light coming from this side, hitting the back, filling the room a bit more. And we've also got like a haze, which is always kind of like a nice morning look. And if we have a look at how we lit this, we actually had two LED lights outside of the window. And obviously these are the light panels, Gemini one by one soft. So they're, they're soft panels. And we've got one hanging over the window, and this is the one that is providing our key light. So that is just outside the window above, and it is actually just off camera. And we can sort of see it if we take a look at the full screen version of the shot. So you can kind of see where this zebra is up here. That is the light panel on camera, and it's blown out. And as our window is a little bit dirty, we are actually getting kind of like a, not a blowout, but we're getting a very high level of exposure here. And you can see that on the final clip here. As the window's kind of cloudy, we're allowing the light to sort of diffuse into it. And also it is lighting parts of the background, which obviously is giving us that daytime look. And you can see that here, it's kind of spreading about over this bit. So we've kind of used the angling of the camera to point towards where the light is lighting outside to make it look more realistic because after all if we just saw nighttime out here it wouldn't look great at all. So it's kind of using our environment to our advantage, the fact that we have this to shoot onto and the fact that we have a dirty window allowed us to use this in a way where we could blow out that window, we could light up this kind of background. And for our second light, where we went from lighting just the kind of like backlight and a sort of little bit of a key to lighten up more of the face to represent a bounce from outside from the sun, we shot into it's kind of like a polyester bed sheet. And if you have a look, it's kind of shimmery. It's a strange material. If we compare it to this is a sheet of muslin. And this is the polyester bed sheet. It's kind of shimmery. It's kind of a bit sparkly. And I use this because as I mentioned earlier, I, I kind of like the idea of like a kind of wet ground with the sun bouncing off a wet ground. And that is exactly what the kind of shimmery material gives you. It kind of representing something that is maybe it's morning and it's just rained and the sun is just coming out of the clouds and it's bouncing off of that wet ground. And that's kind of what this looks like. And for our third light, which completed our look. You can actually see in this video that we had the light panels Astra bouncing off of the ceiling on the other side of the room. And you can see exactly what the light was doing here. And it's simply just 
adding a little bit of light from the other side, giving some exposure to the neck, a tiny bit of the jacket, some of the curtains, and kind of lighten up the background of the room, just a, just a touch, just a tiny bit. And if we switch back to our full lighting setup, you can see that here along the neck, on the, on the jacket, on bits of the room, and you can kind of see what that's doing. And that's without the fill, and that's with the fill. And we also used some atmosphere aerosol, which is kind of haze in a can, just to haze up everything a little bit and raise those shadows too. And as I said earlier, that kind of gives it more of a morning look, more of a cinematic morning look. So just to kind of recap our lighting, I'm going to do some really, really terrible drawing for you. So we've got our light panels unit just up here. And that is actually set to about 3,900. I'm going to type this instead because uh, that is not really great, is it? And this is set at about 3,900 Kelvin. And what we did with that light was just hang it above the window. And this allowed us to light our scene realistically like a sun was lighting our scene. And that is blowing out this bit here. It is giving us a top light here and it is edging and giving us a kind of little bit of a key around the face. And you can kind of see it's kind of getting into here. There's a little bit of bounce from the curtain that is also affecting the scene. And for our second light, we had another light panels Gemini unit here. And this one was actually set to about 4,400 Kelvin. And what that means is we are not quite getting the same kind of warmth as our backlight and main light here. Because if the sun was bouncing off the floor, you'd expect it to be a bit cooler. You wouldn't expect it to be the same temperature. And obviously this one is bouncing into our polyester kind of shimmery bedsheet material. And then that is just bringing up the exposure on the curtains. It's extending our key and just giving us that effect of the sun bouncing off the floor. Uh, our final light panels was the Astra, and that was inside the room, and that was at about 4,400 Kelvin as well. And that was bouncing off of the ceiling, and coming back, and just lighting up parts of the back of our subject, his neck, his shoulder and it was also giving some extra exposure into the room into the curtains and you can kind of see this lampshade in the background was being lit by that too and the way i saw this fill light was kind of tying the lighting in together so you could have the sun coming down bouncing off the floor bouncing back into the room and then bouncing off the ceiling again to bounce back so it all kind of makes sense so if we look at this as in a way to realistically represent the lighting we've got the sun up here. The sun is coming down, giving us this backlight, giving us this top light, giving us this main light in the window, but it's also bouncing down and hitting the floor. And the floor, as we discussed earlier, with the kind of shimmery polyester material could be kind of a bit wet, a bit damp, and that is bouncing back up into our subject space and extending our key light and also giving us more light in the room in general. And this is also pushing past and hitting somewhere else in our room, wall, ceiling. And that is coming back and providing this other light on our subject and a little bit of extra in our room. Hopefully you've been following this so you can sort of like understand what I just drew. You can kind of see how the light all feeds into each other and it's all kind of like a natural representation of how the light would be working in the scene. Support my channel on Patreon and get extra lighting and shoot breakdowns, along with early, ad-free and extended YouTube videos. I colour grade my work using Dehancer. Use my code ROBELLIS to get 10% off. Parts 1, 2, 4 and 5 of my Lighting with Colour mini course are on YouTube now, but you can also download it all with an exclusive part 3 at my website or become a patron and stream the 46 minute tutorial in full. I use music from AudioSocket in my videos. Click my referral link in the video description and use the code ROBELLIS when you sign up. 
for a free month of the best and most diverse range of stock music available. Use my code Rob Ellis over at Zyro to get up to 71% off your website or storefront with three extra months free, along with a custom domain for a year. I use ArcGrid for stock footage. Get an extra two months free when you sign up using my link in the video description.